ladies, happy Saturday morning. Cynthia Ray here to give you a little information about something that I've been thinking about. Um, something that I actually have been practicing more in my life in the last couple of years and found a huge benefit from. Uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but the first 30 minutes to an hour of your day can actually determine the outcome of the rest of your day and the rest of your week and the rest of your life and how you spend um, your time. And my family and I have most recently been uh, thinking about and contemplating what is it that we really want our life to look like? You know, my husband and I have been thinking and um, like, you know, before we had kids, like what did we see or envision for our lives um, when we, you know, we're looking at thinking about having a family, what do we envision having a family looks like for us? And what we found was that you just kind of get, like all of us, you know, um, spun around in the daily activities and just kind of doing things as they come, not necessarily looking at the big picture and stopping and thinking, is this what we really pictured for our lives? Is this what we really um, wanted to do and how we want to spend our lives? And will we, will we be regretting in the future that we didn't spend our family life or our daily life like we envisioned? So anyhow, I've been spending some time, again, um, really focusing on my mornings and the importance of a healthy morning routine that you can establish. Um, that way you can set the tone for your day and your life and looking at the big picture again of what you really want to see your life looking like at this point of your life. Um, so for me, what's really important for me is before I even get out of bed in the morning, I like to, I'm an early riser, so I like to just lay in bed for a little bit, spend some time, um, the first thing before I do anything is actually making a gratitude list or a list of things I'm thankful for. And then I like to spend some time in prayer and just kind of be quiet and still. Um, and maybe just contemplating some of the things I have um, coming up in the day. And then I usually will go downstairs, put some um, laundry in the washer, get that started, and then listen to, listen to something inspirational on TV, whether it's a really great sermon, listen to a really great um, inspiring book that I have, something that's gonna um, grow me as a person, um, you know, for personal development and growth. So for me, that gets me excited about getting up in the morning and and then actually planning my day around that and planning, it, it sets the tone for my day. So when I get up and I'm like, oh no, I'm rushed or my daughter get up, gets up early or my kids need me earlier and I just kind of start going, my day seems to kind of continue that way and it's really hard to settle down and to stop. So what I want to uh, encourage you all to do, if you don't have it already, is to develop a healthy routine for your daily life. Um, something that's going to start off your day um, with, on a positive note so that you're um, happy, um, more easy to get along with, more flexible, um, less stressed overall, and just feeling more positive in a positive place where you'll have a better quality of life overall for you and your family. And just again really looking at what it is that you want for your life long term what is it are you living the life that you pictured at this time in your life um, did you ever make plans or think about what you want to be doing at this time in your life and if you have it maybe write that down first and think about you know with your spouse or with your family what is it that you envision for us at this point in our lives what is it that you want for us in the future and then figuring out how you can live your daily life like that and I know all of you are here because you are investing in your overall health and wellness and you truly are invested, which show, says a lot about um, how you think about your life and how much you're investing in yourself. Um, so just kind of look in, in the future a little bit more if you haven't already or look back to see what um, you haven't accomplished that you want to accomplish. So anyhow, just want to share that with you and let you know how important it is um, to take a pause in the morning before you do anything and either stretch or um, you can stretch in your bed even some really great stretches you can do in your bed before you get up some breathing or meditation exercises you can go on YouTube and find some excellent guided meditation you can just you know put your earbuds in your ears and just lay in bed before you even get up and uh, start your day with that or an amazing thing is a gratitude list just listing out what you're thankful for before you wake up in the morning and I noticed for me later on in the day I'll continue that. Like if I'm feeling or noticing I'm a little bit stressed or I'm not trusting a situation, I'll stop and I'll start uh, making a gratitude list. And you'll be absolutely amazed 
how that gratitude list completely shifts your your brain. It shifts the way you're thinking. It, it, it calms you down immediately. It makes you realize, like, why am I stressed out? Because I have all these amazing things to be thankful for. It's totally unnecessary. So anyhow, um, yeah, so that's about it for today. And please share if with a group, um, with a post, if you have any routines that you have established or if you've noticed times when you um, get out of bed rushed and how it changes your day and when you start your day a little bit more calm and relaxed and thankful, how that alters your day as well. Anyway, have a fa fabulous weekend. Continue doing what we're doing with your uh, food. We only have a few days left, so let's not um, deviate this weekend and just really focus in on why you're doing what you're doing. Um, you've come this far and you know, if, you, if you're tempted by certain food, just you know, ask yourself in that moment, is this really worth sabotaging all the hard work that I've put into this? And hopefully the answer is no, because you've worked so hard, you totally deserve this. Um, you, I, I don't know, just, just stick with it. <laughs> and I just wanna encourage you with that today and have a fabulous weekend. I'll be checking in with you all also. Take care.